Hi, this is the help video for Access Chapter 4, the Prepare Case um, A. This is the second movie, and it begins at Step 7. I have the instructions on the left and the database on the right. So we left off at Step 6, so we'll pick up with Step 7. So we're looking at all um, creating forms, right? And so we just finished creating a form that was against a single table, but you can create a form against multiple tables. You can create a form that um, references a query. In this example, we're going to do a form that brings data from two different tables into one form, which could be really handy. Before we begin, though, we want to make sure that the tables that were that we intend to have on one form have some kind of a relationship. So the best way to do that is to go to Database Tools Relationship. And then it shows us our tables and their relationship. So we're going to create from Customer and Schedule. So what we want to do is see if there's a relationship between the table customer and the table schedule. And I can see there is. It's based on this customer ID field. So I am going to be OK to do this form. So we're going to create a form like we normally do. We go into Create, Form Wizard, right? And then we're going to pick the first table that we want as the main. and, and so this will have like a main and then a subform. So think about if we look at every customer and then underneath we could look at all of their scheduled um, times, right? So one customer, many schedule items. So this is usually the one side. And so that would be customer. And we want all the fields. So we're just going to pop all the fields over. Then we're going to um, select um, schedule and put all of those over and then do next. So we want to look at this data by customer, right? You know, there might be a time where we want to look at a scheduled date and see what customers are coming, but in this particular case, we're trying to look at a customer and what they um, have scheduled. So we and we want to do it with a subform. So we're going to go ahead and click no. I'm sorry, <laughs> next. And let's see. Uh, have the subform view as data sheet. And then all right, so next, and then we have two fields we have to um, or two objects we have to name. So the first one is the form. So that's FRM customer schedule. And then the subform is going to be FRM customer subform. We're going to go ahead and um, modify the form's design. So it's going to open us up in this design view, which is really good. But I want to show you what it actually looks like. So look, we have each customer here and then all of the schedules. Notice we have two navigation, right? So this navigation is for the subform. And then this one, if I move to the next customer, look. So this subform refreshes and shows each um, registration for each of the customers. I'm going to go back to design view. In design view, add a label at the top left corner of the footer. So we have to open that footer up. And another label, draw it to about two and a half. So I'm watching up there at the ruler, two and a half, created by C. Smith. And then I can just bring that up. And we're going to save it and close it. So we are done with step number seven, which was a pretty... Um, important jump we made there where we could have multiple um, tables. So let's go ahead and look at step number eight, which can be found on page 230. A split form is created from one table and displays each record individually at the top and then again as a, the whole table data sheet. 
This gives you the advantage of seeing each record and the whole table in one place. So we're going so when you're doing a split form, we want to do customer. So we want to be on the customer table because when we create this split form, it's going to use whatever object we're sitting on. So we're going to create more forms, split form. And there it is. Up at the top, we see the detail of the customer. And then down here, we can quickly navigate to another one to see the detail instead of having to continually scroll over, right? So we're going to go back to design view. We're going to open up the form footer. We're going to, in form tools design, pick labels. We're going to drop a label right here, two and a half. And we're going to say created by C. Smith. We're going to save it. It's going to be FRM customer split. OK. Let's just preview it one more time. And then right there's the footer, right? We can close that, and we are done with step number eight. Step number nine, that can be found on page 231. And this is about making a form look better. So if we read this, it says, the manager of the spa would like to make the customer input form look more like the colors of the spa. The resort has a set of themes that the manager would like to apply to all objects in the database. So we have to download the spa theme file. And so that was one of the um, that was one of the files that we downloaded from when we downloaded the start file and the um, instructions. So let's see here. Open customer input form in layout view. Customer input form. We're going to switch over here to layout. I've got the orange, right? And then we're going to, on the design tab here, we're going to open up the theme gallery. So here's themes. And look, browse for themes. And then we're going to probably look in our downloads folder and find spa theme. Open. And there, it changed, right? So let's see if we did everything. Open the customer. Let's All right. And then we're going to edit this to say customer input. We're going to save it and close it. Let's go ahead and look at step number 10. And step number 10 can be found on page um, 232 to 234. So let's read this. Control can be resized to make the form more user friendly. When you create a form using the wizard, the order in which you choose the fields the, in the wizard step is the order in which the fields are added to the form. Once the form has been created, you may decide the field should be in a different order. And so you can simply make some changes. Um, we're going to open the customer schedule form in layout view. So customer schedule, let's see, form customer schedule. And then we're going to switch to layout. And adjust the size of the last name text so it matches that of the first name text box above. We want to change the last name so that it matches first name. So I'm just going to drag that back, and now they're the both the same size. Extend the width of the address text box so it matches city. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to size that up. All right, edit the title form so that it says customer schedule. Delete the form sub form label. So that's not the sub form, but the label. So I selected, it's got the orange. I can just hit my delete key and it is gone. 
use the auto fit feeder feature to adjust the width of each column in the subform. Select between, double click, select between, double click, select between, double click, right? So it's not the most efficient way, and we're going to find a better way to do this, but right now that's what we're doing. So now we can see all that data. So we have the auto fit. Um, drag the left border of the subform to the left so that all fields are, oh, we don't, we, we're good. Um, delete the customer ID label and text box control. ID. So we're going to delete this. So delete and delete. Select the phone label, phone text box, edit, da, da, and move them up and to the right. Okay, so we're going to, I want to select, let's see, phone, I'm pressing my shift, and I'm selecting these four, phone label, phone text box, email label, email text box. We're going to then move them, so I have the little four-pointed we're going to move them up here. And in this view, it's, um, it, it, uh, it has a lag. And then this once, so I kind of get it in the general area. And then I use my right and left arrow keys on my keyboard to move it just a little bit. And then you can actually see. So you just drag it up kind of in the place, let go, and then use your um, keyboard to get it in the right thing. And, and we have other ways of fixing that, but we're not doing that right now. Okay, drag the sum form data sheet up and to the left so it's just under the state. So we have to select it. And I'm just gonna use my um, arrow keys. Oh, under the state label. So I didn't read that well. So we need to come over here and under state label. Because the label is, remember label is what doesn't change. This changes, this is a text box. All right, change the font of the title to be 28. So I'm going to make that 28, just like you normally would change. So I went home, went to the font, changed it to 28. Apply a bold style font to the first name and last name text boxes. So I used my shift key to select the text boxes, and then I'm going to click bold. We're going to save the form. And then we can view it and see what it looks like. So there we go. So the last step in this um, part A of the, of the um, prepare case is to add a picture to the form to make it more, um, add some interest. So we're gonna, um, it's still in layout view, and I actually don't like how these are. These need to be over more. Need to be over here more. Oops, too far. So move those kind of there, because what we're going to do is we're going to put a picture right here. We're going to bring this out a little bit. And then we're going to pop a picture right here. So, um, and the, the 235 has kind of what you want it to look like at the end. Um, so we want to pull in this picture that you should have downloaded when you downloaded the rest of your files, right? So pictures can add to forms to make them more appealing. When a picture is added, that it will appear for every record. A picture can be inserted in the header, in the footer, or in the detail area, which is this. So we're going to download the spot, which you should have, save the file, which you did, with the f in layout view. So we'll just make sure we're in layout view, right? We got the orange, so that's good. Um, insert the spa, logo, the spa logo into the detail section under the email, right? So we're going to do that. And um, it's on page 234, 235 of where you're at. So in the design tab right here, we want to go into this controls group and we want to find where we can insert an image, right? So you need to just kind of look through here and it's this last one here, image, and put where you 
and it's going to ask you to find it and there's the spa logo so I went to my downloads and it put it in huge right so now what we need to do is resize it so that it I don't want that way I want this way resize it and then move it so it fits right there and then you can just kind of adjust how you that's pretty good actually maybe a little maybe a little to the left yeah I kind of want that line in line with that good so let's go ahead and save that and um, we can close the form and we're done with this part a so now you can submit this part a for grade and i'll start the next movie on the part b thank you